Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again. Well, this time around we're having a look at another brew from Poland, Tiski Gronia, which comes in at 5.2% alcohol by volume. And it's in a lovely 500ml can that's been uh, deep chilling in the uh, Swill and Grog beer fridge for uh, a wee while now. But I'm uh, most excited to uh, finally be uh, reviewing this. I do recall uh, a few years back now, or maybe more than a few years, you could uh, briefly get it at uh, Dan Murphy's, but uh, I missed out on the uh, opportunity to get my hands on it uh, back then. I think uh, Jez did uh, uh, manage to get his hands on it and uh, did a review of it, and uh, it was quite positive. So uh, I've always been keen uh, to try this one. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack open this can and uh, pour it out into this Spiegelau lager glass. Okay, might as well give it a decent pour. Get some head going there. Okay, well that's a nice thick white head. Radio. So um, what I can see from the uh, appearance is that it's uh, yeah quite a clear golden color, quite effervescent, uh, a nice thick white head, three fingers there. Hmm. So uh, let's check out the aroma. All right, uh, getting a lot of uh, sweet grains on the nose there. No real uh, aroma of hops or anything like that coming through. But uh, I must say it smells quite enticing, but uh, do bear in mind that it's my first beer of the day. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm uh, most keen to dive into this one. So on that note, cheers to you all. Hmm. All right. Well, um, up front, yeah, nice malt hit, you know, definitely getting a, a nice taste of those, um, bready grains. Um, yeah, it finishes very crisp, very clean, somewhat dry, but it has all the characteristics you'd uh, look for in a lager and, uh, yeah, it's definitely got some body to it uh, as well. I guess somewhere between medium and full. Yeah, and uh, it's a nice ABV as well, you know, 5.2%. Uh, All right, yeah, just get the remainder of the can uh, out there. Plunk it back down. Hmm. Anyhow, uh, yeah, let's have another gulp. Hmm. Well, it's certainly uh, holding that taste profile. I'm really enjoying this. There's nothing offensive about it uh, flavor-wise. It's big, it's bold, it's uncompromising. It's a very decent uh, lager, um, yeah, from Poland. Yeah, I'm <laughs> kind of wondering why it's taken me so long to, uh, yeah, try some uh, beers from Poland. Uh, yeah, very strange, quite... Uh, a huge oversight, um, <laughs> yeah, on uh, my behalf. Hmm. So is it drinkable? Hell yeah. Is it something you could session? Well, even at 5.2% ABV, you could session this. Yeah. Now, the price point, of course, is, uh, yeah, where uh, it all falls over in Australia. Yeah, you're going to pay the you know, best part of $80, uh, at least for a case of, you know, these 500 mil cans in Australia. Yeah, but we have the tax man to thank for that. Hmm. Rightio, well, um, probably time that I had one last gulp of this and uh, gave it a score out of 10. Okay, well, all in all, it's a very decent lager. I would uh, certainly recommend it to you all, and it's worth, you know, going out of your way to try. I wouldn't call it earth shattering, you know, it doesn't put me in a state of euphoria, <laughs> but it's quite impressive. So, uh, yeah, I'd probably give it a solid nine out of 10. So uh, there you go, folks, a nine out of 10. 
Rightio, so I'm just going to uh, kick back and uh, enjoy the rest of this brew and uh, I'll see you all in the next review, but uh, until then, fare thee well, all. <laughs>